Okay, today we're reviewing, um, I guess, the gastric and also the hepatic and pancreatic um, sections of a marine ornamental fish. So in here you can see it's a distended part of the gastrointestinal tract. Um, I would call this the stomach and you can see it's very empty, indicating that it's not had a meal uh, recently, probably within, yeah, when it was euthanized. Uh, and then we'll sort of zoom closer uh, into the pancreas. And if we look at the pancreas here, the sort of the darker blue cells, uh, we'll zoom in a bit closer again, you'll see that they actually do not contain any pink granules, which are the zymogen granules. And this is a common finding in fish that have not eaten in quite a while. And if we then move on to the hepatocytes, which are the liver cells, you'll see that there's quite a variation in the evacuation that's present in the liver cells. So these are tending to be macrovest uh, vesicular um, cytoplasmic contents, and they tend to be uh, lipid droplets. But if we zoom in closer and have a look there, um, the hepatocytes, the vacuoles is not completely clear, they're quite a bit fuzzy, so it's an evidence that they're metabolizing the lipid, uh, probably because it hasn't eaten recently. And if we have a look at the gallbladder, if we zoom to the southeast, and you can see, we'll zoom out a little bit, um, you can see that the gallbladder is quite distended um, and contains quite a lot of, I guess, bile, uh, which sort of indicates that the fish, yeah, supports that the fish has not eaten uh, probably in the last week or so. So, yeah, this fish is inappetent for some reason, could be from bacterial infection, uh, parasitic infection, poor water quality, or um, or it's being fed a diet that it doesn't quite like. So we'll pan out a little bit so you can get a good overview of this fish.